Hi, I'm John Rutherford with AGA Video Systems. I'm here at Full Compass Video to go over our new mini converter, the Region of Interest, or ROY. What we're basically doing is we're taking a DVI signal directly out of the laptop through the mini converter and taking an HDSDI output to this monitor as well as to the Keep Pro for recording. So we're going to walk through the steps on how simple this is to set up. So what you're seeing is the user interface or the mini config application works, works both with Mac and PC. It's a free download. It actually ships with the product and is very easy to install and, and configure. So what we're going to look at next is actually some different video resolutions coming out of the computer. So I happen to be working on a Mac, so I'm going to just go into the system preferences here. And you can see I've got my selection of video resolutions coming out. And it's a full list. Let's just take some uh, bizarre, here's a 720 by 576 resolution. So I'm going to change that, and you'll see that that immediately gets reconformed and converted to the output uh, to the monitor as well as uh, to the KeyPro recorder. So now that conversion is all taking place directly out of the unit, uh, the scaling, the resolution, all of that's being handled automatically. We can scroll back up, and you can see I happen to have full support for something like 1080p. So when I do that, we get a full screen resolution output. And if we look back at the mini config application, you can see that we're taking that video resolution from the computer and we're actually converting it uh, to also a 1080 signal. But I'll go back into system preferences and we'll change like, uh, for instance, the, the hertz coming out of the unit to something like, say, 60 hertz. So now when we go back in, you can see it's automatically updating that input and the output has also been changed to 1080i 2997. So let's take a look at the interface a little more directly. We have these tabbed areas here for the region of interest, which is basically how we're handling the input. There's also a tab for output, which gives us full access to a number of resolutions for outbound signal. And we also have a tab here for audio. So we're going to take a look at each of these in, in respective order. Now on the inbound signal, right now we're doing an auto conversion, which means we're taking the full computer raster and outputting that as a full uh, HD signal to the monitor and the recorder. Now, that's basically doing three things. We're doing the uh, computer raster to HD video conversion. We're doing the hertz to frame rate conversions. And we also have the ability here to change the RGB. So we can uh, hand that out as a full RGB signal and basically let that RGB conversion take place downstream. Or we can change that so that the converter is actually changing the RGB signal to a proper SMPTE signal. Now we also have some ways we can auto-conform that inbound signal. So you can see we've got some fixed aspect ratios and we also have some fixed sizes. But what I particularly want to talk about is this variable option. As soon as I change variable, you'll see that there's automatically been some scaling that's taking place. We do that on purpose so that you know that you're doing something with that signal as it's coming out of the converter. Now what I have here is a web browser that's got a weather map on it and I can hit the play button here and we can actually animate this weather map. Now the region of interest that we're particularly concerned with is the storm that's uh, over Pennsylvania right now. But because we're getting a full raster conversion, we need to be able to isolate just that area. Now I'll go back into the mini config software and because we've now changed this to variable, I can actually come in here and select just the area of the screen that I'm interested in. And you'll see that that's now coming out as a full render in HD from just that isolated area. So now if I move the converter window out of the way, all you're seeing is real-time playback of just that region of the screen. Now on the output side, we also have controls to be able to take that signal and either go full frame or scale that and even reposition it so that it's now ready for keying in a downstream keyer. And the final point will be analog audio. I could take a very simple 3.5 uh, standard audio cable from my laptop to the input on the ROI and be able to embed that analog audio from the computer to any of the eight embedded channels on the HDSDI output. So this will truly give me 
the ability to take whatever is on my screen, output it to HDSDI, record it to a key pro rack, and monitor it properly on an HDSDI monitor. For more information on the ROI, just go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales representative.